Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for September 22nd, 2021 from Psalm chapter 64, a prayer of protection. Verse 1, Hear my voice, O God, in my complaint. Preserve my life from dread of the enemy. Hide me from the secret plots of the wicked, from the throng of evildoers. The psalmist is crying out to God to save him from the enemies. Verse 2 names the verb, hide me from the secret plots of the wicked. Now, if they were secret, how does the psalmist know about it? The psalmist does not know the details, but that evil does indeed plot against believers in Christ Jesus. So if I don't know what the enemy is plotting, then I need protection. I need a God to hide me, as the psalmist notes. Verse 3, who wet their tongues like swords, who aim bitter words like arrows, shooting from ambush at the blameless, shooting at him suddenly and without fear. The weapon of the enemy is the tongue. It seems that this attack comes out of nowhere, like an ambush. And this is how the devil likes to work. Jesus describes the work of the devil as a liar and the father of lies. So the psalmist is asking God for spiritual protection from the evil one, the devil. This sounds very much like what we pray in the Lord's Prayer. You may remember the seventh petition of the Lord's Prayer, but deliver us from evil. What does this mean? We pray in this petition, in summary, that our Heavenly Father would rescue us from every evil of body and soul, possessions and reputation, and finally, when our last hour comes, gives us a blessed end and graciously takes us from this valley of sorrow to himself in heaven. The psalmist then continues, verse 5, They hold fast to their evil purpose. They talk of laying snares secretly, thinking, Who can see them? They search out injustice, saying, We have accomplished a diligent search. For the inward mind and the heart of a man are deep. This prayer of protection is like the Lord's Prayer. It needs to be pray prayed because this isn't our fight. God is the one who is protecting us. God is the one who is hiding us. But ultimately, this is God's fight. Notice what the psalmist says next. Verse 7, But God shoots his arrow at them. They are wounded suddenly. Notice who was doing the action. God was shooting his arrow at the enemy. As Christians, we remember that Jesus dies on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. Jesus is the one who defeats sin, death, and the devil. Verse 8, They are brought to ruin with their own tongues turned against them. All who see them will wag their heads. Then all mankind fears. They tell what God has brought about and ponder what he has done. Yes, we ponder what he has done. And then we go tell what God has done. Defeating the attack of the evil one and hiding and protecting us from harm and danger. Verse 10. Let the righteous one rejoice in the Lord and take refuge in him. Let all the upright in heart exult. So we return to the Lord, for he is our protection. And when we feel we are being attacked by the devil, attacked by the lies, we can pray this psalm and the Lord's Prayer as a prayer of protection. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.